Hello friends, this is Amir. Welcome to another video tutorial of uh, Eridas Imagine 2015. So here in this video uh, tutorial, uh, we'll be discussing as how to uh, classify an image uh, using uh, Eridas Imagine and uh, uh, through supervised classification, we'll discuss how to so classify an image. So here I have this image of uh, Landsat 8. Uh, the date of uh, date of uh, the date of acquisition of this image is uh, September 2015. So this is my area of work. Uh, my area of work is Aglar Watershed. So this is the area of work that is Aglar Watershed. So here I will be discussing as how to classify this area, this image. So first go to the raster. So here first of all, uh, let me tell you the difference between the supervised and the unsupervised classification. In the supervised classification, uh, you will edit those signatures and you will tell the computer that if uh, you will tell the program that if this area is uh, if uh, uh, this pixel is there and this pixel belongs to a particular class for example if you have this area so you can say that this area belongs to uh, uh, this area is barren by looking at it so you are supervising it you are telling the, the software that this area is classified this area or the areas which are like to this area classify them as a particular type while as in unsupervised classification they uh, the um, program itself uh, classifies different areas on the basis of their spectral uh, reflectance so here in this video tutorial we will be discussing only about the supervised classification so first of all I will have to create a file in which uh, will I will have uh, specification of different areas or different areas where those areas belong so first of all we'll go to the signature editor and uh, in the signature editor once this signature editor tool is open so we'll start doing our work so what we will be doing is yeah we have got this signature editor so first we will select different areas, different AOIs. So here in this uh, in this uh, supervised classification, so we select different AOIs and uh, give the area. So for example, this area is a forest area. So this area is a forest area. So you can select this one AOI. This area is also a forest area. So so we'll continue uh, this till we have a lot of uh, these AOIs so as to form a good mean so this area is also forest ok so we will keep on doing this for different areas and uh, this area is also forest and so I will be doing this for uh, my area how much uh, different area is under forest so I will create those AOIs so here I have marked my whole area, different AOIs uh, representing uh, forest land. So what we can do is that we can save this AOI file. We can save this layer which I have uh, created, those all those AOI files. We can save them in a particular uh, format. We can save them and we can say that this area, AOI set, can say that this area whatever I have created those AOI files these belongs to forest so that the next time if you have to do it on any other uh, other image you can load uh, those uh, data sets and it would be easy for you to identify all those areas so now what we would be doing is that we'll select the whole area by a box so this is uh, we have selected them by box and then here is this uh, uh, this uh, symbol it says that create a new signature from AOI so these are the various AOIs now it will create a signature for those uh, AOIs okay so this is the whole AOI set I have got so now what I would be doing that I will merge all those all those data sets so I will merge them into a single uh, signature so all those signatures are different signatures from those all those uh, AOIs I have created. So I'll merge them into a single color and we'll remove the rest of the 
signature so i will write this thing as that this is the forest okay and now i will remove this ui layer and and now i have to select other areas so since the forest area was uh, very uh, uh, very uh, evident from this image so it was very evident that I could easily select that those forest area. Now I don't know where is this agriculture area, but uh, looking at these different uh, uh, different uh, color differences or reflectance difference, I can guess that maybe in these areas there might be agriculture. But I have to support it uh, with something so that my uh, area is uh, well uh, well classified. So for example, in this in this uh, in this uh, whole image I can see that see this this area this area looks like as if uh, it's different from the rest see these are forest and this area looks out to be is different from the, so now how can I actually see that if this area is if this area is a bare land or if this area is uh, these are shrubs or if this area is agriculture so how can I check this so for this I can use the reference so so what we can do we can go to this help bar we can search our tool directly from here and we can connect this to Google Earth. So in order to connect this uh, uh, Adas Imagine to Google Earth, the Google Earth should be already open. The app application should be already open. So we'll connect this, and then which we will do, we'll do, we'll synchronize the uh, the view Google Earth to the view. So this view we have synchronized it to Google Earth. So this area, you'll see what this area actually is. So this area seems to be an to be an agricultural area this area seems to be an agricultural area so we'll be doing what will be now start selecting these different aoi so this for this agricultural area we have selected this aoi and similarly this area also seems to be uh, agriculture if we can say yeah this this area was whole area is uh, of that of agriculture so we'll take this tool drawing tool and we can add on those areas that these areas they belong to agriculture okay in the similar fashion we can add on other other aois now now here i loaded all those uh, aois i uh, i uh, selected all those aois for a particular uh, class that class is uh, is agriculture so uh, this is what i have done i selected different aois uh, for the particular class so now what i will be doing i will select do the same procedure what I did for the forest. I will select this area I mean, and I will load all those AOIs into this file. Okay, so this is how select by box and then select the whole area. Okay, so whole AOIs they have been selected. Now, what I would do, I would load all those AOIs using the same. We'll create all new signature files and we'll uh, load all those AOIs. So this is how uh, once I have loaded all those AOIs, so the same procedure we will do, we will merge all those uh, different uh, 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 signature sets into a single signature. So I can write this thing that this area belongs to agriculture. agriculture. This is agriculture. In the same way I can do for other classes. Uh, for example, if I have my urban area, if I have my uh, if I have my shrubs, if this is the stream, I can give different pixels, uh, different uh, NRT, NRT, uh, AOI uh, to these uh, uh, streams, and I can tell the computer that this area it belongs to uh, stream, so that whatever area which is near to this uh, uh, this uh, the same AOI or the same reflectance, uh, so it will classify it as stream. So here, so this is how I did it. So I prepare. I have prepared now my whole signature file by the same method which I have been telling. First for forest, then for agriculture, and then for following for other. And I also told that these uh, AOI, AOIs, whatever I have marked on these, uh, this my area. This can be saved so that it will serve as a reference for further classification. Okay, so this uh, area I can uh, this uh, signature file I can save in a particular folder like I have saved it uh, as a sign manual. Okay, and uh, 
you can uh, evaluate